Hi there, Mark Kenny with Think Multifamily. Today I want to talk about what I see a common mistake people make when they're trying to calculate the cap rate that they're buying an apartment complex for. I'm going to talk about a couple concepts. I won't go into a lot of details, but one's going to be NOI, which is your net operating income. Essentially your revenue minus your expenses, but does not include your, your debt payment. So your net operating income, we'll go through a formula here, divided by your cap rate, Cap rate is essentially the rate of return somebody would expect to pay for something like an apartment complex if they paid cash. So NOI by cap rate equals, let's say your value, or basically your selling price if you're, you're buying a property, right? So NOI by a cap rate equals your, your selling price. So if I take this as an example, if I have 100K in my NOI, Divide, let's say by a 10% cap rate to make the math easy, that equals a value of $1 million. So NOI of 100,000 divided by 10% cap rate equals a value of $1 million. Okay, pretty, pretty simple there. So if NOI divided by cap rate equals your selling price is true, then the reverse is true as well. What I mean by that is your NOI divided by, this, let's say your selling price, equals your cap rate. Okay, NOI divided by your selling price equals your cap rate. So typically when you buy a property, you know the NOI, you know the selling price from the broker, it's in the offering memorandum, or you get it from the broker, calculate the cap rate. So here's an example here. 100K, NOI, Let's say the selling price is $1 million. That equals a 10% cap rate. NOI, divide selling price, cap rate. 100,000, about a million, goes 10% cap rate. That, that's all fine. Except for a very common mistake in my mind people make is around this, the NOI. Okay. I have $100,000, I got that from, let's say from the T12, trying 12, proper and law statement from the current seller, right? That's current. Well, what if the current owner has owned it for a long time and my property tax is gonna go way up? What if the current owner self-manages and pays six or $700 a unit for a property and I'm gonna have to pay $1,100 per unit per year? Major difference there. So if I take this and said, whoa, my goodness, my, they had a why, I need to adjust it. Right? I need to take money away from that because my taxes are going up, maybe my payroll's going up, whatever it might be. Let's say I have to adjust that down to 80,000. I take the current 100,000, I take off the sub subtractions for property taxes, whatever other issues might be there. 80K divided by 1 million equals an 8 cap. I means I'm buying it actually an 8 cap, not a 10 cap. Okay, yeah. So if I say, well, 80,000 divided by 1 million is an 8 cap, if I really want a 10 cap for a property, which is pretty hard to do this, this day and age, I should only be paying 800K for the property. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're evaluating deals. There's a whole bunch of deal analysis, but this is a common, I think, mistake people make, is taking the current numbers and then figuring out what the cap rate is going in. And then they compare that to the market cap rate. See, look at, I'm, I'm buying either above or below or at market cap rate. The market cap rate is important to know, but you need to adjust the current NOI to figure out what you're really buying it at from a cap rate perspective. So hopefully this is helpful. As I mentioned, there's a lot of things around deal analysis, but this is one common thing I see a lot of people make.